Why it says it's time for us to learn proper English pronunciations like onomatopoeia. <laughs> so let me bring in Willis the word master. Willis, it's great to see you after so long. How are you doing? <laughs> Uh, I'm fine, thanks, and how are you? I'm great, Willis. It's great to see you. Let's start with that word that uh, Larry Asego put out on Twitter. Onomatopoeia, matopoeia. <laughs> how do we go about that, that one? <laughs> you say onomatopoeia, pia. You have the primary stress uh, on the final or the terminal syllable. Pia, <laughs> onomatopoeia. Okay, I can tell you for free that he was not going to be saying, he was going, not going to say that, he was saying onomatopoeia, so obviously you've checked him into school on that. <laughs> All right, Willis, so let's begin with our word on the street. Let's take a look at what Kenyans had to say this time around. <laughs> Kugma <laughs> Kwangamia, Kwangamia, Kwagmire, Kwagmire, Kwagmire. Siniva, Kwagmire, Kwagmire. Who is the man? Who is the Kugma? Kama, Wagman, Kwangamia. My, my favorite was Kwagmire. Yeah? So talk to us about that one. Uh, but, uh, sometimes, you know, learning <laughs> has uh, something, you know, juicy or tasty. Like uh, you've talked of Kwagmire, and <laughs> mine was Kwangamia. Kwangamia. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that being that, Betty, yeah. the correct or acceptable pronunciation of this word is quagmire quagmire okay. but remember mm. you can also say quagmire okay. quagmire quagmire quag two quag pronunciations mm. are acceptable quag or quag right. quagmire quagmire quagamia quagmire quagmire no. 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 no but it happened okay got it you just got it okay you haven't changed one bit with this all right so let's move on to the next word Devolution or devolution? Um, that's, that also has some well differences. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, two acceptable pronunciations for that word. Yeah. The verb is devolve, to devolve. Yeah. But we say devolution, devolution. Devolution. That is in British English. Okay. But in American English, you'll hear of de devolution. Mm -hmm. Devolution, mm -hmm. devolution. All One right. Can use both pronunciations. Okay. Well, let's now let's move on to this other word. Especially with the rains now, we'll be hearing this so many times from our journalists, our news presenters, and anchors. So, do you do the rains wreak havoc or wreck havoc? Talk to us about that one. Betty, the word wreak means cause. Rains cause havoc. Okay. So you say reek. That uh. is W mm -hmm. R mm. E A K. Mm -hmm. Reek. Wreaked havoc. Then we have wreck. Wreck is W R mm -hmm. E C K. Yeah. W R E C K. Mm -hmm. Wreck. That is to damage. Yeah. Like to wreck the boat. Okay. And we also have wretch. That is W R E T. C H yes. W R E T C H mm -hmm. wretch that is like a wretched boy. All right. But when we talk of cause havoc, 
you say weak and you got it right by the way betty mm -hmm. in your bulletin all right thank you so much for that well i learned from you willis it's weak havoc all right let's move on to this other word now this one i used to have a teacher who used to say conscience is it conscience conscience <laughs> talk to us about that one we have science science yeah but this word betty is not related to science yeah it's conscience 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 one time i remember talking about the regular nature of english spelling and pronunciation mm -hmm. just like i gave an example of donkey and monkey mm -hmm. don't say monkey because of donkey and you don't say donkey <laughs> because of monkey so we have to understand the regular aspects of the english phonology that is the sound system in this case mm -hmm. we say conscience conscience not conscience <laughs> all right got it conscience. Conscience. okay moving on to this word it's a three letter word e-r-a this Era or era? E R A. Yeah. You say era. 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 Mm. E R A. Era. The era of so and so. Mm -hmm. Or the era of such and such a thing. Now, we have to remember that E W R O R is era. Mm -hmm. That is mistake. Mm -hmm. Era. Yeah. But E R A is era but era. i said there are people who may choose to use the american english mm -hmm. in american english you will hear of era mm. all right got it but we prefer the british english which is era got era. it willis era okay so moving on to another word do you say depreciate or depreciate depre pre depreciate Depreciate. depreciate not okay appreciate mm -hmm. depreciate yeah d pre the uh -huh. stress is on the second syllable pre. yeah appreciate uh -huh. depreciate just like appreciate okay you don't say appreciate <laughs> because it really is no but you know sometimes but sometimes you know it's shida kutamka that's why someone would say appreciate <laughs> you know i appreciate you <laughs> well, can i tell you also something small uh-huh cucumber you may hear somebody saying shoshomba <laughs> or Gilugamba. it happens shoshomba <laughs> okay that's a strange word but i'm sure it Gilugamba happens and all that but you know it's nobody's wish to have what we call the first language or mother tongue influence it happens but, yes but we it, can come out it, of it it, it really does it, it really does it really does Willis. Yeah. all right let's move on to our feedback question and um do you say boutique or boutique well i remember that question came from the wonderful sisters dashley and daffley david also okay. dashley and daffley david uh -huh. should say boutique. boutique boutique not boutique Bo boutique boutique not boutique yes okay. you say boo then mm -hmm. teak okay boutique. boutique so we should always get it right which also reminds me about one helen gatti and henry karidi betty mm -hmm. who also talked of serene and the that karidi henry is the one who brought us the word era okay got it got it so it's serene and era and boutique serene era boutique boutique got it really okay we, quickly let's move on to our surprise word do we have any other apart from boutique <laughs> betty we can't miss a surprise word all right for tonight mm -hmm. i've taken a word that is commonly used but sometimes it has a problem to many people what we see is embody embody and many people say embody which is wrong the pronunciation of this word is im body im body so you say to embody embodied embodiment not embody embodied embodiment just like mm -hmm. embezzle embezzle not embezzle the way we say locally and finally mm -hmm. betty we have words which confuse people and so many people make this mistake we have mm -hmm. the word integrity right. integrity yes not integrity uh -huh. when we say 
integrity as if we have an R uh -huh. in that word, yeah. the upper word, no, that is wrong. The lower one, yes, mm -hmm. integrity. integrity. So those who say integrity mm -hmm. should avoid it. Just like I said, we don't say integrated, integrated, mm. no, integrated, integrated. We don't have integrated and we say integrity okay not integrity betty Lo how are you <laughs> lots of surprises the integrated that's a surprise release well it's always a pleasure having you on friday it briefing it's it. great to be back to learn from the word master himself that we say boutique and not boutique or any other pronunciation for that matter thank you very much willis and betty you know, it's always my pleasure talking to you also because of the wonderful work that you always do on air. And remind them, mm -hmm. they can always reach me on Twitter. That is at Willis Ocheng one At, at Willis Ocheng one All right. At Willis Ocheng one <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us.